better, Kim. Okay, we got some peony pasta. We're gonna pour it in our dish. Wow. And then two cups of water. These are just some one dump meals. Mm hmm And then we're going to take some pepperoni. Five ounce package. Well, you just some dump dump it in there, but not quite like that. Mm hmm Well if we can get it out, man, that thing's tough to get out, ain't it? It is that's huh? Well, oh. my hand. Okay, then you're just gonna kind of spread that out. Spread that out. It's quite a few pepperonis. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we're gonna take a bag of meatballs, mm -hmm. Italian style, and our pan is low enough. It is low enough quick. It so is. we got the peony pasta and the meatballs. Okay, then we're gonna take two jars of the chunky ragu sauce. Interesting. Okay, and mix it together. We did put a pan underneath this pan. Just so. in case it like overflows. Yes, well, this is just a uh, heavy. Yeah. You've got a lot of ingredients. Any certain way you should pour this or are you just kind of dumping no, it? No, I'm just, you're dumping it. No, there's no special way. Now I'm gonna take some Italian seasoning and dust it on top. Jeez. And some crushed red pepper. My favorite, I love a little spice. And now you just take a spoon or whatever mm -hmm. you have and just kind of mix it up just a little bit. It doesn't need a whole lot. Just to kind of get stuff coated in there. Cheeses. Mm. Don't ask me to read all these cheese names. So all of those right there. That's a little hard for me. Oh, this is some finely shredded. This is mm -hmm. nice. This is nice cheese. Then we're going to bake it at 350 for 55 minutes. Wowzers. Kim, look at them that balls. Is. You got, this is the one with the balls and the peony pasta, right? And the pepperonis, yes. Yes. All right, what do we got here, Kim? Okay, we've got some cream of chicken soup. I'm gonna pour that in our dish first. Mmm. And we got the healthy request cream of chicken. And we've got two cans of cooked chicken. Just kind of spread that all in there. Yep, just dump it in there. And then we're just going to kind of whisk it together, get that cream of chicken all in there. And then we are going to toss in, put that kind of mixed up. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, then we're going to toss in some corn. We left the juice of the corn, but we drained our peas. Peas, mmm. It's gonna be our chicken pot pie. Mm. Just gonna twirl this around. See all the pretty colors. You can really smell that corn. Can y'all smell yes. it? You can't go wrong with corn either. Mm -mm. Okay. Then we're going to take two cups of cheese. We love our cheese. Yes. This, you don't really have to measure. No, you're just, just kind of doing it. Yes. Just... Okay, and the final topping is we're gonna top it with some crescent rolls. Ooh. So we got our crescent rolls. Oh, look at them. Wow, it just came out pretty came nice. Out, yeah, first time. Usually that's, that's not typical for us. Okay, you're gonna take your crescent rolls, and you're just gonna cut them into pieces. And you're gonna just put them all over All this. over the mm -hmm. dish. And then we're gonna put some butter on. I love butter. Usually about three tablespoons to top them off. Mm -hmm. That looks really good. And then we're gonna take our three tablespoons of melted butter. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna put it over our crescent rolls. You can do this with biscuits as well, but we just chose crescent rolls today. This is looking tasty. And you just dribble your last little butter on there. We're ready for the oven. Mm, I'm excited to see how this looks. Yeah. It looks really yeah. good. It should be real tasty. Is it heavy? It is heavy. <laughs> okay, we put the aluminum full over it so they just didn't get too brown on top. Yeah. Oh, they look scrumptious. Oh, they do. They look really tasty. We've got a pound of hamburger meat cooked up and drained. We're gonna add a package of taco seasoning. 
It wouldn't be us if we didn't drop the And yeah, no, it wouldn't can. be me if I didn't drop it. And then we're gonna add a can of pinto beans. Mm. That extra liquid is gonna help with the taco seasoning, everyone. A can of rotel. Mm. Is that that's mild? Yes. Let me case somebody. And I've got a can of Mexicorn. Mm. Now you're gonna combine all this together. And I love cheese, as everybody probably knows. And I'm going to put a little bit of ch cheddar cheese in the recipe as well as on top of it. Might as well just finish the whole bag, right? Well, we're going to use it on top oh, as well. Oh, got it, got it, got it. So let's get it all mixed up. Then you're going to set it aside and we're going to make our cornbread mix. Don't that look good? Okay, now I'm going to take a box of Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix. Add in a third cup of whole milk and one egg. Now, we'll mix this up. We got our corn muffin mix stirred up. Take, take it and add it to all of our vegetables and meat. And this is just Jiffy cornbread mix. Yes. Lots of casseroles are made now with Jiffy cornbread mix. It looks very tasty. Okay. Now we're just gonna stir it in. We think it's gonna be pretty good. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna smooth it out. Put some ch good old cheddar cheese on top. And bake it at 350 for about 25 to 30 minutes. Yes. Well, let's bake it 425. In the oven, we're ready. Kind of juicy, a, so. It's a heavy boy. I'll open the thing for okay, you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, our cowboy casserole. Wow. You know what's for supper tonight? That looks smell good. Smell that taco. We're going to let it cool, and then we'll try a bite of it. All right, let's try this thing. Okay, let's just try this little edge right here. Oh, wow. Oh, it scooped out perfectly. Yeah, just like a little tamale bake. All right, try your little bite, Cam. Okay. It's like shaped up nice. It's good. Okay, we're gonna take 15 ounces of classic Alfredo sauce in your oven baking dish. Mm. And what I'm gonna do is set this aside and rest out there. What do we got there? One teaspoon of Italian seasonings, which you're gonna use. Put that in your Alfredo sauce. Keep it out, because you're gonna need a little bit more of that. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put in three cups of chicken, just chopped up chicken. You can use canned or rotisserie. rotisserie. We're using, what do you guys think we're using? You think this is canned or rotisserie? Or you can bake you, uh, or use some chicken breast. Mm -hmm. Then we want three cups of baby spinach. Ooh. We're gonna throw our three cups of baby spinach in here. Interesting. And we're gonna combine this up. Looks okay. nice and mixed. Okay, we got it all mixed up. You're gonna take a pie crust. Ooh. And you're gonna set it on top of here. Okay, and you'll want to just push it around the edges. It's like we're making a little pie. Does it matter if it breaks or? No, no it's. I've seen people do that fork technique where they like tap the fork around the sides. Is that a thing or? Uh, yes, I, I'll be honest with you. I don't do a whole lot of um, You don't do fruit, yeah, I yeah. get you. But all you do now, I want to put a few little slits in it. Uh -huh. Just little slits like this. And I'm going to kind of let it air out yes. a little bit. Brush it with a tablespoon of melted butter. Is this organic butter or non-organic? Uh, non-organic. I just use plain old butter. Or is this margarine? Oh, this this my, this here is margarine, born and raised here. Okay, now you're going to take one teaspoon of the Italian seasoning mm -hmm. 
and dust it on the top of it. And then we're going to bake it at 400 for 30 minutes. And we have a quick supper, wow. we're ready to eat. Let's do it, Let's, I can't wait to see the finished product. Don't trip over, no. the, there's no dog there, I don't think. No, but it's just uh, two left feet, I guess. Okay, let's see here. Ooh. Oh, look at bubbling, look at that spinach. That looks like a bubbly goodness. Oh, it's even bubbled through the crust. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's stand about five minutes before we have a taste test. Okay, let's right, try let's this. Let's try this thing. Oh, nice and crusty. It's actually gonna be pretty good. It's got the Alfredo, so. Look at that. Just a little chicken in there. And your spinach. All right. Nope. Oh, I'm gonna get it on a spoon at some point. Would you add anything? No. It's pretty it nutritious. Is, it's really good. What do we got here, Kim? We got some ramen noodles. Mm -hmm. What kids could not love, ramen noodles. And you're just kind of shaking all of them out? Yeah, we're going to take six packages of ramen noodles. You just put them on the bottom. Uh -huh. Oh, we're going to take these out of there. Yeah, you, you don't want to use the packs. No. Now you're going to take four cup of noodles. Mm -hmm. What kids could not love, ramen noodles. And you're just kind of shaking all of them out. Yeah, we're going to take six packages of ramen noodles. You just put them on the bottom. Uh huh. Oh, we're going to take these out of there. Yeah, you, you don't want to use the packs. No. Now you're going to take four cups of milk. We've got our four cups of milk here. Mm -hmm. Eight ounces of softened cream cheese. Okay. We're going to put these together. Okay, you take one of the chicken flavor seasoning mm -hmm. and Dump it in the milk and cream cheese. All right, it looks nice and mixed. Okay, ready now to pour over your noodles. You'll see clumps of uh, cream cheese, but that's... That's just gonna melt I away, guess, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's how I guess it's supposed to do that, We're who just, knows. We're following a recipe, folks. This one we haven't done ourselves before. Yeah. Okay, now you're going to take your chicken and spread it on top of it. If I'm being quite honest, you sticking your hand in that kind of, <laughs> oh gosh, it looks gross, but we're gonna dry it anyway. Well, my hands are clean. I know so. your hands are clean. It's just like the chicken itself, just. Yeah, I mean, we've been better if we'd had our boiled chicken. Yeah. Right. We're gonna try it with this. We're gonna try it. Okay, now you're going to uh, patten it down. Yep. Cause I'm gonna take a bag of broccoli. Okay. And I'm going to kind of spread it. Spread it up. You don't need the whole bag, maybe just like half a bag. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then our cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese. Okay, then we got some sharp cheddar cheese. I'm gonna top it off with. Does it matter how much, or you're just kind of scattering to make it taste good? I'm just scattering it to make it taste good. Mm -hmm. And we're going to bake it at 400 for about 30 to 35 minutes. Okay. Oh, it's a hefty boy. Yeah, it's a little hefty. It's okay. Oh, wow. Oh. Got our broccoli all toasty there on top. Yeah, sheesh. Well, it looks scrumptious. I know. I have to test it out. What do we got here, babe? We have some Bob Evans instant mashed potatoes. There it is. <laughs> We're just gonna layer them out in a casserole dish. I just have a nine by 13 here. I got the family size of the mashed potatoes. So mm. we want it to fill in the whole bottom. Okay, now that we have the mashed potatoes done, we have some cut up chicken right here. These are just chicken tenders I threw in the oven and then cut up. We're just gonna sprinkle them on the top all around. Alrighty, just gonna layer them, one layer of that. 
All right, now that I got my chicken on there, all That's diced good. and nice, mm -hmm. we're gonna do one can of whole corn, yellow corn. I'm just gonna slowly layer it on top of my chicken. Mmm. Smells good. I love corn though. Why do they say corn is hard to digest? I don't know, but it, it does come out whole a lot. Sure is good. Sure is good. Farm fresh corn's the best, but it's out of season. Sometimes you gotta do the can. So just have some corn there. Next, we just got some chicken gravy. Mm. Just gonna put about a cup of that on top. Not too much because I don't want it to get too soggy. Mm. All right, see the gravy on there. Mm -hmm. All right. Last but not least, we're gonna just take some cheddar cheese. Do about a cup or two to your preference. Just gonna sprinkle it on the top all the way so it's good and melty. You can do as much as you want. Get some right here in this spot, yeah. Right on the gravy. Mm -hmm. Oh, I get some. Okay. Yeah, it looks good. All right, now we got our oven preheated to 350. So we're just gonna take it over here to the oven. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna put it right in for about 15 to 20 minutes. Ooh. Wow. Look at that. Mm. That looks really no. good. Okay, let's get some out. So what's in this again? Chicken, mashed potatoes, gravy, and cheese. Really good.